Hey, everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today. So let's get started. Today is episode 111, How to Prepare for Holiday Guests. Now, today, um, most of us do have company over the holidays, and but today we're not going to talk about like put mints on their pillows or make sure they have a drink in their room. Or Although if we're coming, like- we do want a drink in our room and a mints on our pillow. <laughs> yeah. I want chocolate on mine. Is that okay? Um, we're, we're not going to talk about those little niceties. We're going to do that in a totally separate episode. But what we're going to be talking about today is how to sort of get your house ready and think about things that the bigger things that you might need to um, do or prepare or even sometimes buy so that you're not the last minute running around with a ch- like a chicken without your head thinking, oh my gosh, how did, are we going to accommodate all these people? And why did we agree to this in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> or that you're so exhausted from doing all that, that you just say to your guests, welcome to our home. I'm going to bed. Have a good time. <laughs> um, so we're talking about, we're going to have holiday guests where they can be overnight or just for the evening. And we're going to talk about bigger things that you may need to think about now to prepare for your guests. And uh, we're going to start off with Anita. Anita, what are you thinking about when you're um, thinking about preparing your home for your holiday guests? Well, I like to think about where they're sleeping, where am I going to put them up, uh, mm. what are the rooms like? And so I really do try to think about, make sure that I have enough uh, beds for everybody and uh, that everything, you know, that they it's just all prepared. Uh, but yeah, so you've got to do that head count. Am mm-hmm. I going to need an extra arrow bed? Um, Mm -hmm. you know, who's going to be in what room. And, uh, you know, I only have, you know, I don't have a lot of uh, guest room in this house. So, yeah. So a lot of times we do have to do the arrow beds. We have one guest room Mm -hmm. and there's just one bed. So, yeah. Can I ask what's an arrow bed? Well, that's the, the mat, you know, the air mattress, but they're the really tall ones. Oh, I was, that was my number one thing on my list. And I do have a lot of bedrooms. We have five bedrooms here. And, uh, but now that we have two tiny grandbabies, um, they both need their rooms, their own rooms. So it really cuts down on my space. And my sister has one that comes in, uh, it's about as big as a suitcase, but mm-hmm. a little thicker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. it's automatic. You plug it in, and within two right. minutes, it has a frame and a wonderful pillow top um, mattress. And it also you um, can, and it, and it closes itself up as well. And it's a uh, a little bit of investment, not as much as buying a bed. But uh, something that you would want to sleep in. And what I want to say is, if you don't want to sleep in it, you don't want to put your guests on it. So right. true. And some of these, like you said, they do have the the pump attached to the mattress. So you mm-hmm. don't need your own air pump. Mm-hmm. And you just turn mm-hmm. that puppy on. And then you can also reverse mm-hmm. it to uh, yes. get the air out. And I'll put... Um, the one that I'm thinking about buying in the show notes. Um, the other thing is, is just even think about this. If you cannot accommodate people, we're having a huge, big family get together um, the last week in October, and I cannot accommodate everybody in my family. So um, just having some information about hotels on hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good it's idea. It's a really good thing. If you have to, if some people have to be put up in hotels, just, you know, know what's around your area mm-hmm. and what uh, the deals are or what uh, the amenities are in a specific hotel. So you can make um, informed uh, suggestions to your guests. Yeah. And if you have that big of a family and, you know, some people may prefer to stay in a hotel too, you know, mm-hmm. particularly if it's not a grandchild, but they have a small child, something like that, they might just feel feel more at ease themselves. You may call mm-hmm. the hotel and say, Hey, you know, I'm going to have people that need four rooms, three rooms, six rooms, whatever it is. And maybe you can even get yourself a little family deal. 
That's oh, a yeah, very that's a good, good idea. They do that at a local Ooh. hotel. Where it's a lovely home. You may get home. ding, 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 ding. I know it's early, but yeah. that is such a super <laughs> well, idea. Thank you. No, you know, there you go. Mm-hmm. Then you don't have to do. Just get the win the window treatments from Smith and Noble, and don't worry about the rest of it. Put everybody in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and order a turkey go. from Amazon Fresh there or something. Go. It'll all take care of. That's right. That's but it, there's a local hotel here. It used to be Ritz Carlton and now it's a Langham hotel. So it's, you know, a snazzy hotel. It's beautiful. Uh, Say hotel. you're someplace where there are no hotels or motels. How about looking up Airbnb or VRBO? Yeah. Yeah. A that's a great idea have. too. But just, uh, just so I finish on what I'm saying about that hotel here, they even have something about a renovation rate. If you, can show that you live in the area and, you know, your kitchen's being remodeled or, you know, oh, something. Really? Yes. And they'll, they well, will you give you deals for a long time. Cause I know you're, I, you're yeah. Always oh yeah. My, my house. girls had heard about that. Cause I said, you know, if it's really bad, maybe we'll have to stay there. And they were like, okay, so when, when are we checking in? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 it'll be all right. We can make yeah. it. And we did. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. so that's just an option, you know, and some people might not, you know, don't feel bad about that. If that's the case, people would probably rather that than sleeping on the floor. Exactly. Yeah. Or we've had situations where, you know, at the farm, sometimes we don't have a spare bedroom. We sometimes put people out at the, uh, some of our adventurous younger friends would camp out at the creek or on the back porch, but we have had some city friends that uh, were not so into sleeping outside. So oh, that's so funny. House. I would do either. Well, I- we don't, we used to have a bed out there, oddly enough. You oh, know? how beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I think that sounds pretty great. Not oddly. That's not oddly at all. Um, it, I think that we are also, if um, when we used to go and have uh, like to my sister's house and we'd have something and there's just not enough places when the kids were small, we would just bring their sleeping bags and their pillows. So fun. So yeah. And they had a blast down in the finished basement. You know, that was really fun for them. So think ahead about all of those things. Right. And here's, here's an overlying overreaching suggestion. If you're going to do a big party with close friends or with family, or you're going to have them for, you know, the ho- all these holidays that are coming up, I'm so in sending like a, a an email out to everybody with, like instructions or helpful things for them. Like, you know, um, remember to, you know, we have pillows, but if you have a special one, remember to bring it. If you have any mm-hmm. dietary mm-hmm. concerns, cause we have a couple of people in our family have significant food allergies. Oh, oh. that's a good point. And, mm-hmm, and yeah, we used to have a big sheet that we would give people to come out to the farm is really for kids. It was kind of a, there's no Wi-Fi, so don't count on it. You know, stuff like that. You know, what you can and cannot flush down the toilet, uh, <laughs> that there might be snakes out in the grass, you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know, wear your well, I, boots. <laughs> I think the more you can get information and also inform your guests, the better. Um, like, I, let me just circle back to this. So food allergies, that's Good really idea. important. Now, I have one one dear family member that even the things that you cook in, Oh, they are that's... so highly allergic. Wow. Well, but what, what do you do? They must have one. to bring their own food. Well, I they just don't they go to a hotel. Oh and um but but, but the my, hotel probably has the same situation uh, with the Well, food. they know what they eat. My daughter in law's um has a lot of different food allergies that really affect her. And I've, we never had anybody in our family before her. So um, I've become very aware of how important it is to make sure you ask your guests, do you have any dietary concerns and right. make sure that you have something there for them. Right. Good yeah. point. That's a really nice idea to send an email. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it'd be all sort of fun. And if you, if you are planning something, like sometimes people do those turkey trot little runs, you know, the little three Ks or things like that, or you, oh. some people throw in a football around, you know, just to let people know what generally your plans are. They can opt in or opt out, but they might want to, you know, bring a pair of running shoes if something yep. like that is available. Kelly, mm-hmm. You made such a good point. And this was something else on my list. When we go to my sister's, um, if we go there for Thanksgiving or whatever, we just have all these fun activities when, whenever we have a holiday. But when we go to my sister's for Thanksgiving, um, well, no matter where we are, we always kick off that weekend by doing some a Christmas 
like that Saturday, something really special. So uh, when we were at my sister's, we've gone to the Ford Theater to see A Christmas Carol. We've we've just we've gone to Mount Vernon for their candlelight tours. And this is a really fun thing to do. Think ahead that if you're going to do fun activities, Mm -hmm. make sure you get everybody on board or give them the option to opt in or opt out Mm -hmm. and also think about things as far as that would be uh, this, a price point that everybody would be able to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah. And I like what you say about opting out too, you know, don't make them feel like, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe somebody's got a kid who's going through the terrible twos or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, or then at the other end of the spectrum, you have someone who's elderly and may not be able to do, Mm -hmm. you know, walking around Mount Vernon or something like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, make them feel comfortable at home. So for the people who stay back, you know, we've, rented a bunch of movies and, you know, here's, you know, lunch is already on a platter, things like that. Just so Great if you're planning ahead and that takes the stress mm-hmm. off you too. And, and it something, does. yeah. And just overall, and I know that I did this in years past and maybe it's, you know, with, with age, you know, turning 29, really, I became so much wiser. <laughs> you are older than me. I didn't realize that. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm just six or seven months older than you. Wait a minute. So what, 30 now? Is that, is that where we are? Oh, um, no, I've been 24 for the last like 30 years. That's the magic. <laughs> day, right? But you know, it's, early on, I remember doing the full on, like, I just remember that our particularly one particular Christmas, it was our, this house that we bought out in Southampton. I think that when I told you about that had the pink carpeting. So the, yes, yes, the pink yes. carpeting, I think may have still been down because it was our first Christmas in there. And I, it was great. I set up long tables through the, the dining, I mean, not a huge house, but through the dining room and into the living room. We had everyone and Peter was shucking oysters. I mean, honestly, I thought it was going to like take, uh, you know, the knife was going to oh go through my. the palm of his hand. I made this trifle <laughs> that was like the size of a jacuzzi and I was so worried and I had the fire blazing <laughs> so were much. You feeding? I think I know there was probably like 12 people, but, um, <laughs> I had the fire raging. I, I, he was, I made Peter get all this wood. I was, I swear, like, I thought my mother was just going to strip naked because it was so hot <laughs> behind her. And then I just kept piling them with food. I mean, I don't think no one could move. And I was just, I never stopped moving. I was just like, zoom, 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 zoom. and then so worried. Enjoy your holiday. Yeah, I spoiled and I probably spoiled it for other people too, unless they could just look at me and laugh because I was not chill. I was not. E at ease. I was not, you know, this fabulous hostess that I really wanted to be. It was too much. I was trying too hard. <laughs> and yes. as a result, I was probably but making everyone uncomfortable. Out. I yeah. think you're right. And, you know, I, I think it, that's a good point. You know, it's okay to, to involve your guest in the preparations and take some stuff off of you and say, hey, we're going to all make pizza together right now. I mean, I okay. think it's a fun thing for people ding, to ding, do. Ding, 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 ding. You get one too. What? That is, no, no kidding. I'm, I'm so serious about this. That is so, that's the key right there. If somebody says, may I help you? You are never to say, no, thank you. You're going to say, oh, yes, please. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. right. Fine. Anita, think, that's brilliant. Yes. Yeah. But also when you're coming together and it's people that you enjoy being around, it's fun cooking together. People want to help out. And they, I think they it's be involved. And so, but it's not just, you know, go set this table, but I think you go here, here, we're making this. I mean, to me, that's a fun, Evie and I love cooking together. Mm-hmm. Right. What a great yeah, idea. That's a great idea. And even if there are little kids, you could do all the you know, cookies or whatever, even if you did those press out ones, you know, just something easy where mm-hmm. you've already got the dough done and the shapes and you let them decorate. But them. you, but you can't mm-hmm. be all obsessive about everything being perfect when all these other people are in your kitchen. No, That's you have to come a little burned mm-hmm. around the edges, yes. a little lumpy, whatever. Right. And then you go, Oh, well, right. So know, I suggest starting thing. with a mimosa and then maybe some bloodies <laughs> <laughs> and then segueing into some wine later. <laughs> and then, we, it'll all be fine. We, we should tell how well we slept last night (laughs) we're on we're not on our regular host we had to it's down we don't know what happened to it so we've had so many tech issues and we figured out another way to do it and and it's just been a mess and it involved some wine yesterday yeah it (laughs) involved last night we were all having wine as we're trying to figure this out and do a taping and i never slept so well So I got up this morning feeling oh, I'm so rested. I'm good, and I've only I only had one glass. I think I'm 
going to do this again. <laughs> oh. But yeah, out. having a good libation is a good way to relax, whether it has alcohol in it or it doesn't. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. I do have another suggestion Um, If you have more than maybe six or eight people, sometimes finding uh, enough chairs is something that you really need to think about. If you're going to have dinner, how how many people can you sit at your table? Uh, uh, Can you put another table somewhere? These are the logistical things that you really- Folding chairs are great. And I love those folding chairs from Ikea that are 15 bucks a piece. And they're actually for outdoor use. And I use those for extra seating at, at tables at holiday time. I think another option, if you don't like folding chairs, because I find that they sit just a little low, is I have found most chairs, um, now they're a little more of an investment, but they're not horrifically expensive, and a ghost chair is made of acrylic. So no matter what style you have, these beautiful chairs will fit into any decor and they're stackable and they're very, very sturdy. So that's what I've been collecting over the last couple years. Every once in a while I'll buy, they come in a set of two and I'll put the link in um, into our show notes. And I've been using those, but it's real because you can use um, them even in, in your living room or your family room or wherever your group meets. But I think that you just need a head count of how many seats that you're going to need, whether you're just uh, entertaining and having cocktails for the evening or whether you're having people spend the overnight and there's um, food involved or even a big spread like Thanksgiving or Christmas. Good idea. Oh, so, so let's yeah. think back now. If everyone's planning on having people or you know what even if you're not planning on having extra people and it's your family whatever that number is 
Mm-hmm. If there are things that you want to do to your house before the holidays come and before the Christmas or the Hanukkah or any of the other decor comes mm-hmm. out, start now. How about if you want to paint a room or mm-hmm. even a small paint job like your front door or something like that? You know, if you if you really jump into it now and you think about it today and you know maybe over the weekend, you could start next week and you could really get a major home improvement project done. I mean, I would not start ripping out my kitchen, of course, or you know replacing uh, you know all, all the windows or something like that. But window treatments for sure, paint for sure. Mm-hmm. How about getting mm-hmm. that rug that you've always well, wanted or the rug under the dining room table that we've talked about and what a that's difference right. that that's makes? So important, mm-hmm. Kelly. This is such a good reminder just for me. We're in like a the middle of a bathroom project that we've been in the middle of for a year. And I finally said to Bob, I've got to call a contractor. We just have to have this done. Oh my goodness. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm so glad you said that <laughs> because I'm going to have all this company for like three big, big family gatherings. We have this big... Um, uh, birthday gathering, the end of October, then of course, Thanksgiving, and then of Christmas. And I don't want them in that half finished bathroom. Yeah. Thank you. And it'll feel so good. You know, and as we've said before, you know, don't do it necessarily for when you're selling your house. And, you know, even though today we're talking about how to prepare your home for holiday guests, well, the guests are going to come. Of course, they'll be wowed no matter what because you're spectacular and they want to come see you. <laughs> but if your house is, is uh, you know, the way you want it, they're going to love it and feel comfortable and at ease. But you're also doing it for yourself and your immediate family. And, you know, sometimes you just need a little kickstart to get going. So think of the holidays and think of our podcast as your kickstart. So if there's something that you've had on your to-do list that is something that can be accomplished in about six weeks – start now. That's such a good idea. And also those uh, Smith and Noble up, down, down, up, or is it down, up, up, whatever. They're so great. Up and down. Yeah. I'm going to get those for that bathroom window. Oh, you should. They're so, so mm-hmm. great. I, I, mm-hmm. doing my up, down, down, up every day that therefore I have my privacy and I also mm-hmm. have uh, the light, light coming in. That's right. Because otherwise, before I had those, I had just these drapes over, you know, sort of makeshift drapes that, you know, I was just using until the, mm-hmm. those came and I made my choices and they were installed. And so it was dark as night in my bedroom all the time. Now it's mm-hmm. wonderful. Well, in my bedroom, I could, I, it faces the road. So I think those would look nice in there. And we had talked about that a couple other uh, podcast episodes ago, but definitely for this project, you really um, just had a little light bulb moment there, girls. Okay. Uh, Really helped Mm -hmm. me. Here's another thing. Stock your bar now. I like that tip. Wait, do I have to write that down? About this. Stocking a bar can be so expensive. And it's a little easier mentally, I think, if you take over the over like every time you get a paycheck or something, just take a little money out to stock your bar and then don't drink all that, but you know, stock it now so you don't have when the holidays come like oh my gosh i've got to spend all this money if you have people that drink different things unless you tell them to bring their own Mm -hmm. um but stock your bar but also make sure you have enough glasses silverware and here's a big one do you have enough dishes now if you like paper stock up on that because paper products this is the time to do it Good to make point. sure everything that yeah. you have enough, you don't want to wait till the end because those are expensive. But even just, I, I mean, I just love white dishes and I have Mikasa, um Italian countryside, which I, I've had it for, oh gosh, 25 years. And I mean, it's lasted that long, but I think it's getting a little too chipped. So I'm looking at new um, white dishes. Mm-hmm. For this yeah, year. And that'll be, that transcends all the holidays and goes the entire yeah. year. But it's so true. Sometimes yeah. you have in your mind, or I, I know I do, I say, okay, well, I'll use that, those chargers. Okay. And then I have the plate and then I'm just going to put a salad plate down or something like that. And then you realize, oh, but I only have nine or I seven or something like that. So yeah, maybe just take an inventory of what you've got. And when you're planning your menu, think about mix and match works. 
a mix and match works. Yeah. But if, if you're pulling them out the morning of, and you only have seven, you're in trouble with chips in them. That's yes. And here's <laughs> another thing. Make lists. I'm such a big list maker. Great idea. Start now. Now I use Evernote. Ugh, I love Evernote because I have my list any right with me everywhere on my phone. But that doesn't mean I don't have lists that I put on like three by five, the big ones, like five by whatever they are, cards, um, index cards. I use those as well in conjunction because I like to write sometimes. Yeah. Start making lists, but then you have to remember to look at your list and do what's on it. <laughs> well, there's something so satisfying about checking off. The oh, yeah, my mother-in-law, when we would go over for special meals, she always had the three by five index card with a list of everything that she was going to make. Yeah, oh yeah, I That's love it. She was doing idea. that. Yeah. My sister-in-law has a have has just notebooks like uh you know, composition books. And she has every dinner that she's ever made, the menu, who came, oh my the recipes are put in there, and she can just look back through that. Now, I would do it digitally. <laughs> right. But she she does it. She has these great notebooks. So she doesn't repeat her her menu. So just think about making lists because it's so important to do that. And actually, I just have a post about um what to do now for Christmas mm-hmm. and it's it's basically had a plan. So I'll put that on in the show notes as well. Okay, here's something that's super practical and I know I need to do this. Um <laughs> When you're preparing for the guests and you're thinking, oh, you know, and you're probably doing a deep clean of your house too, Mm -hmm. or if you're lucky enough to have someone to help you do that, you've got them in. How about changing all those filters in your air conditioning unit? They say to do that like every six months Mm -hmm. to a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that might be something you're doing, especially uh, maybe they're going to work a little bit better. Presumably they do when the filter is clean. Well, you know, that's a good Mm -hmm. point. They say when you do the um, daylight savings switch, you should change out the batteries in your smoke detectors and then Mm -hmm. change your filters. Oh, that's a smart way to think about it. That's a smart tip. Mm -hmm. Here, I have Mm -hmm. another one. When I I have guests and I've, I shouldn't say I've trained my guests, but most of my guests ask me, may I strip your bed? And I say, yes. And they bring it down to the laundry room. I don't put the sheets back on my bed because it might be a month until somebody else sleeps in that bed. Mm -hmm. So I make the bed up without the sheets. Oh, And then I rewash the sheets. So I have really great smelling fresh sheets on their bed. Well, I know people that have guest house out in the country and what they do is, uh, well, actually the bed, I like to have, like you said, the bed spread on there, which you could do, like you oh, said, yeah. but don't totally do the sheets. The bed but what the they sheet. do is I think sometimes guests leave and maybe they're not out there. So mm-hmm. they just always have a clean set of sheets stacked up at the foot of the bed. And so the guest puts them on, but you know what? I think that's fine. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. 
Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Oh, yeah. Well, I have somebody that helps me do that. So I don't have to worry about that. But I like to, I like to watch my sheets, just give it a quick wash, right? Again, they've been sitting in the closet. I mean, what's the difference on a better in a closet, but right. mm-hmm. I still yeah. think there's something so wonderful. And if it's nice, I will put my pillowcase out over a drying rack outside. Cause I just think they smell so great. And then they get put back on the bed just before our guests come. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Nice. Yeah. And just make sure. And I, that you have like nice sheets and a nice mattress. I've been, and you know, I love the people that have lumpy, horrible mattresses that I go to. So <laughs> I will continue to go. But it by the time I'm done, I have such a backache. So, you well, know, and they're, each mattress is different. A, but at least a decent mattress, you know, mm-hmm, you want a mm-hmm. decent mattress. Yes. My husband and I, I won't say who it is. We literally sleep at the foot of the bed with the, our heads facing the foot of the bed because it's less painful that way. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, yeah. And if one you, of my children. <laughs> right. And if you can't, it might be. If you can't, you know, afford to uh, get a new mattress or you don't want to get a new mattress, you know, maybe uh, do a topper or certainly yes. go, even if it's a, a TJ Maxx run or something like that, get some new fresh pillows. If your pillows have, you know, seen better days and that's yes. nice for your guests. I was going to say that. Check your bedding. You, you want your guests to sleep on and bedding is not terribly expensive. I mean, I love my linen sheets. I won't ever go back. I hope to regular when I'm sleeping in my bed, but you want to at least give your, you don't want to give your guests your old mattress that you slept on for 20 years or your sheets that you use for 10 years and you got new ones. Yeah, so but also there seems to be preferences. I mean, I know my mother and her husband, one of them likes the hard mattress. The other one likes the soft. So, you know, it doesn't really matter whether it's new or old. They, they don't, they're not going to be happy with the same mattress. Well, I'm just saying lumpy beyond recognition. Uh, yeah. Of don't do those. When yeah. You lay yeah. Down. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, at least a decent mattress. I think we've covered a lot of territory today on how to prepare your home for holiday guests in a, in a bigger sense. So we should do another one. I'm not done. I've got a list. So oh, maybe yeah, we yeah. can do is part we'll do two. More. But we okay. could do more. Right. We could do three. I mean, you know, we, we have so many ways that you can not only treat guests, but treat your own family members. And, you know, as we always like to remind you to treat yourself. So we'll, we'll delve deeper and get smaller and the little details and, you know, a little holiday turn down service and all that. We'll niche down. We'll niche mm-hmm. down in some, some future episodes. But today I think we gave you an over, a nice overall for the bigger things that you can accomplish now between uh, today's date when you're listening to this will be either October 13th or a little bit beyond that if you're keeping up with uh, your our pace here at DTT. Uh, so you still got plenty of time before Thanksgiving. So yes. do yourself a favor and head over to smithandnoble.com slash DTT. Look around, maybe get some swatches. And if you're ready to go for it, take advantage of this wonderful offer, $300 off, $1,000 or more, and get some wonderful draperies or blinds, uh, or even just get your, your little swatches and save them up for when you are ready for that. And remember that particular code, smithandnoble.com slash DTT, and that will still work after the holidays. So 
Uh, it was wonderful to be with my ladies today and all of our listeners. We enjoy getting your emails and your calls so very much. So let us know if you have some special things that you're planning to do to get your house ready for holiday guests, or if it's big things or even the little things, and maybe we can include those in the upcoming episodes if you've got little treats and special things that you want to share with us. So we're here to re- remind you that we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us.